Today we're going to talk about shark bite fittings. Nathan Cox here, thanks for joining us on the Round the Home. We're going to talk about shark bite fittings. So obviously i got to get a lot closer. Okay, that's a good view right there. You see all those metal teeth? Okay. That's why they call it a shark bite fitting, because it's got all those teeth. All right, that's the name it was given. And I don't know if you can see it, but past the uh, past those metal teeth, you can see the black O-ring, hopefully. Okay, this is just a three-quarter inch cap. Here's a half inch coupler. Okay, so let's get a little bit closer over here to the countertop, and I'll show you how to use these. All right, so what we have in front of me here is a piece of PEX pipe. I talked about this in a previous video. You'll be able to see it here at the top right of your screen. And here is a piece of PV, uh, CPVC, sorry, CPVC. Um, it's a little creamier colored. It's more rated for the hot water, but some people, when they used it, they used it for both hot and cold, okay? Um, anyways, so here's our shock point fittings. Here's a couple of caps. I'm not gonna worry about that today. We're gonna take the coupler. And one of the cool things about CPVC, which I don't like, but the cool thing about that, about this and the PEX and copper, is they all have the same outside diameter, okay? The great thing about that is that because of that, we can use a fitting, one fitting that rules them all, okay, right? A little Lord of the Rings. All right, here's a little silicone grease, because it never hurts to add a little grease to it. There are O-rings in here, so that's what we're going to add to it. So I already cut, you know, these pipes are clean, they have clean cuts to them. Okay, you don't want to have any jagged edges. If you used a uh, utility knife to cut it, if you put it down on a block and cut it with a utility knife because you didn't have a, a good cutter, uh, make sure there's no lips or edges, anything that's going to cut the O-ring basically, okay? If you want to use a little sandpaper or emery cloth, uh, emery cloth is just sandpaper on a roll. Let's see if I have one. Okay. Okay. Now, actually, we're going to do that. We're just going to, just on the edge, see I've got it kind of angled. Sorry. All right. Got kind of angled. So I don't want to sand up here. So I want that to be smooth, so the O-ring is on the smooth part. Okay, I don't want the O-ring to be over a bunch of uh, big scratches from the sandpaper. Okay, but we don't want that lip. Like I said, I don't want to cut our O-ring. Now, to help this out, we're going to do two things. Kind of a little beginner's tip. I've used these so much, I don't do this part here. But your pipe, hopefully I can see it in the camera, right? All right, there's center. It's not going to go quite the center, there's a stop in there, okay? So, here's a little lip right here. So your pipe should go probably about that deep. And, okay, and that's the side on this one here that I sanded. So it should go about that deep. That way we know that we've got it far enough in, right? Now watch, I, I do this and it's going to backfire. <laughs> Alright, grease is a little cold. I'm going to take some grease and add some grease to the end there. Okay. This part's so simple. Okay, we're just gonna slide that in. Okay, so you can see my little mark. Okay, now you can feel it kind of, it's got something there against it, so we're just gonna push it straight in. Okay, oh, you see the mark? It's just barely up in there. Maybe you can kind of see it. Well, anyways, so it, it, it did the job. All right, so now we know that it's in far enough. So you don't wanna stop short and then for it to leak. Okay, so we've got our mark, get it in there, and then we'll just push it straight in. Okay, and that mark is, I just, the mark's just a hair out, but we're all the way in. Okay. Now what we've done is we join CPVC and the PEX together, which is awesome. And you can also do this with the copper. So if you have a home and you're doing a small remodel uh, project or repair project, and so you have copper, but you don't want to replace it with copper because copper is really expensive. Or you're not very good at soldering. Hey, don't feel bad, I'm not very good at soldering. But what's really hard to solder is a home that's already been built and there's water in the pipes. Sure, there's little tricks to try to um, get the solder so it, it, you know the water so it stays back, it doesn't get messed up the solder. But anyways, I, I always have troubles with it. So don't feel bad if you do too. And especially if you have the CPVC and you're like, I don't want to continue this stuff because I don't want the glue joints. I don't want the glue joints to come apart. Um, this pipe gets brittle over time. 
So we switch over to pecs, okay? This is a very common thing to do. And these shark bites are one of the easiest ways to do that, okay? Now they also come in other brands called Gator Bites and other things like that. Um, and there are a couple of cheap knockoffs that are coming out now too. So I, I, I very much suggest you, you try to get the better brands, okay? But and, and I've had just the same as look on the shark bite as the gator bites, okay? Anyways, now this right here is an awesome little thing, a little C, a little plastic C. Um, it's a removable tool. You can take this off, right? Or if you put it together and you're like, oops, I forgot something or missed something, or put, should have put a T instead of a coupler. Okay, so this just snaps over the pipe and see this tan plastic right there. We're gonna compress that in. Try to keep it in the camera, compress it in. What that's doing is that's pushing the little plastic sleeve past the metal teeth and it comes off. See? And we do the same with this one here. You gotta compress it in and then wiggle it off. And there we go. So now I just showed you how to install and remove the shark bite fittings. Okay, so I hope I properly explained how to fit and remove the shark bite fittings and give you guys a good feel for them. Now, some of you might have some quick questions like, you know, do these work well? Do they, you know, do they really last? This and that. Um, I know a lot of, you know, professional plumbing companies use these all the time to snap in uh, when they're changing out water heaters or this and that. You just saw it again last week. I was in there doing um, the carpentry and stuff like that. And they brought in a plumbing company to come out and ink out their, their water heater. And rather than taking the time to switch stuff over, just you know, use the shark bites and stuff like that. So I see a lot of professionals use them all the time and trust them. Um, now, any fitting has a, the possibility of failing. Okay, there's no surefire fitting that, that just locks together and never leaks, okay? Um, now, of course, there's some fittings that are prone to leaking. And to tell you the truth, I haven't come across these as being part of that problem. Now, I would know where you stick these things and leave them in accessible areas because this is an O-ring and I think, you know, I don't know, five, ten years, you know, start keeping an eye on it and change them out, okay? Don't let them sit there for 10, 15, you know, years like that um, because there's an O-ring in there, okay? So putting these inside of a wall that you're going to close up, I would not advise, okay? Um, not normally you do that, so try to leave them so you can reach them. Um, but they've been very good, and as long as they're not leaking when you stick them together, you know, I had them leak originally, like when you stick them together, but that's because there was like a little bit of a, um, a burr or something hanging from the cut, or a little piece of shaving that got stuck in the O-ring. Other than that, I've had zero problems with these. So, big thumbs up on this. Um, I think we will have links in the description down below, Amazon links, where you can buy different ones of these. Um, other than that, guys, thanks again. Please subscribe to the channel. Check out my website. Here's some more additional videos for you guys to watch. Please share this video so others can see how to use these and see if they will help them with their own projects. You have a great one.